Look at the bike. Oh. <laughs> that's the bike. Okay, I guess that's the main street. Oh, God. I mean, as soon as it goes up, it's absolutely horrible. I mean, it's any like 5% climb is already... Then I already have to go to the minimum speed. And I go as slow as if I was climbing a high mountain pass in, in the Alps. It's just insane. Okay, there is my hotel. I guess I'm gonna park here. I hope tomorrow I can go to Istanbul. And I hope in the Shimano Center they can do something. Yeah, because my plan now is uh, is gonna be to... I mean, obviously I cannot ride like that. Just like smaller climbs with like more than 5% uh, uh, uphill, more than 5% slope. I, I'm already at minimum speed. And it's already exhausting. So you imagine a, a proper mountain pass with 10% uh, slope. It's impossible. I just can't uh, can't continue like that without the engine. So basically now my plan is like uh, even just going to Istanbul is 200 kilometers from here. It's gonna take me a week <sighs> because it's. I mean, I thought it was flat, but actually it's up and down all the time. So. So it's a, it's a no no. So now my plan is going to be to rent a car, put the bike in the car, get to Istanbul with the bike, in a, and get it to the shop, to the Shimano service shop. See if they can do something. Hopefully they can they can do something. See what happens, and then uh, I don't know what what is it. Is it going to be or replace the engine or? Uh, or just do some some changes or I don't know I don't know what's gonna happen but my guess is it's gonna take quite some time so I, I doubt I'm gonna ride anytime soon it's very really a pity because people are so friendly here in Turkey and it's it's just that's why I wanted to travel by bike because I wanted to go by bike through countries where uh, where people are extremely friendly because with a bike you 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 attract more attention and you go to remote areas you go slowly to through remote areas and and people talk to you and i wanted to see that but this freaking bike doesn't work oh. well i will see what happens hopefully i can ride again soon okay i'll go ask her. i'll go to the reception and, and see what i do Okay, I brought most of my bags, as you can see here. My bags there, there. Actually, it's quite insane. I paid 16 euros, so one six, 16 dollars. And uh, look, I have a double bed. That's beautiful, that's okay. And, uh, and there is a second room. <laughs> see, I have two rooms. <laughs> I have two rooms for 16 euros. Uh, okay, let's go down. I need to park the bike so you can see the hotel a little bit. So let's go to park the bike. Uh, actually, it was, it's funny because in my mind, I always thought, well, it's not I always thought, I thought probably it's gonna stop working at some point. The electric thing is gonna stop working at some point and I have to replace it. I, I dream of replacing it. I dream somehow. Yeah, I would, it would be funny to replace it with a, with a normal engine, like a Solex, you know, like back in the days 
with a very small atmospheric engine to to get the assistance but from uh, gas basically and not from electricity because it's more reliable and it's easier to easier to fix in countries where um, in, well, like in Africa for example well, but uh, I never thought it was uh, it would it would it would stop working that early it's only 4,000 kilometers what the hell okay let's go I'm gonna park the bike there take my my last things with me and uh, yeah what the hell Okay. okay, let's go, let's go back to the room. I start to have doubts that I can succeed with an electric bike to go across Africa. I cannot even succeed to go across Europe. How could you go across Africa? <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, YouTube, video? YouTube, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Nice. Uh, YouTube uh, channel? Yes. Kino Eve. Kino Eve. Mm, okay. I will follow. You will follow? Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I did not forget anything now. Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> See you. Oh my god, people are so friendly here. It's uh, it's insane. So now guys actually Yeah, so now guys actually I'm trying to to find a taxi to get to to get to Istanbul. And now the taxi is coming in the evening. Yeah, now the taxi is coming uh, in the evening to check uh, to check my bike and to see if it can fit in his uh, in his car. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, maybe can can you hold this? Yes, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so let's fold the bicycle for the for the taxi driver. So first, I need to remove the seat. Okay. Mm. No more seat. Yes. Perfect. And. Uh, Up. Yeah, that's how it falls. Yes, perfect. Good. So that's the. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so that's the bike folded for the taxi. So the taxi is here. We're gonna see if it fits. If the bike would fit in the in the taxi. <laughs> ah, okay. The trial for to get the bike in the car was successful. So for uh, I think it's 200 kilometers for 65 euros. No, for 60 euros. Uh, tomorrow I'm gonna get to the to Istanbul by taxi with my bike and all the all the luggage. So I go straight to the to the shop to the Shimano shop to see if I can fix it. It's really good. What an unbelievable day! <laughs> That's crazy. Look at my bike. Okay, so I guess see you tomorrow morning when uh, we load the bike in the in the taxi. The guys of the hotel were well, the guy of the hotel was extremely helpful. It's unbelievable. I asked him 10 times to call this guy to rent a car, to rent a car, and then I changed my mind. I say maybe I want to go by taxi, and he helped me for everything. It's really unbelievable. And finally, he found me a cheap taxi with a good price. <laughs> he came to see if, how the, was the folding of the bike, to see if, we, if the bike could fold, uh, could, could fit in the car. Just unbelievable guy of the hotel. <sighs> Morning, my friends. What a weird day today. From uh, Moda Hotel here in Kerkrateli, something like that. Well, a provincial town in the European side of Turkey. And it's quite a weird day for me 
because today it's not at all as I expected. I expected to finish my uh, my way across Europe, you know, being happy, proud of myself. Oh yeah, I did it. Arriving in Istanbul, like oh yeah, I did it. But uh, well, no, <laughs> it's not gonna be like in the dreams. It's real life, so it's never as you expect it to be. Yeah, because today uh, I'm going to Istanbul. That's for sure. But I'm going to Istanbul by taxi, and I'll try to get my uh, because basically my engine. My electric engine does not work. I rode quite a lot yesterday without, uh, without the engine. So I'm heading to Istanbul by taxi to repair my electric engine. So hopefully I can be able to continue my journey on the Asian part of Turkey. So today is going to be a different video from usually. It's going to be a travel video, but a travel video by taxi. Yeah, and I have the name here. Kırklareli. So if you come to Kırklareli, you have to stay in Moda Hotel. And uh, it was very nice to meet you also, yeah. Thank you very much for all your help. You're very, uh, yeah, it's really, uh, you were fantastic, yeah. Perfect. Look at the bike, oh. <laughs> That's the bike. See you, nice to meet you. See you, thank you very much for everything, yeah. <laughs> so great. <laughs> Okay, let's go to Istanbul. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, maybe I put mask. mask. <laughs> Turkish tradition. It's top 40. <laughs> okay? Yeah. Yeah, so on the way to Istanbul already, or only 90 kilometers left, and uh, we stop for, uh, we have a break for tea. And it's funny when you <laughs> have the area for resting in the highway, and you have the chicken. Just here, if you want to eat some chicken. Huh? Oh, you can pay yeah, to, for the restaurant, yeah? Yes. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah. So fresh. Yeah, so he just said you can just pay to, to kill the chicken and you, and you get a fresh chicken for the restaurant. Ah, okay. Okay. One, two okay, okay, no problem. Atatürk, yeah. Everybody, yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah. Because he's the father of Turkey. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. yes. In Kerkareli? Every, everywhere, Atatürk, Atatürk. Yes, yes, yes. yes. There you go. Okay. Oh, okay. So he offered me a tea, basically. <laughs> Turkish. Tradition. So we arrived in Istanbul. Yeah. So I just want to show that <laughs> Semi, the taxi driver, gave me one kilo of honey. So nice. So I have problem with the... Uh, yeah, you know, E010. Thank you very much. It's so, yeah, so nice, yeah. Thank you very much, yeah. <laughs> Goodbye, yeah. Gule, gule. Gülü gülü. Teşekkür ederim. So now let's see if I can fix the bike. Look at this beautiful shop behind me. Beautiful bike shop here in Istanbul. 
So I told the guys I'm, uh, I'm gonna go to have some food, let them work a bit quietly without uh, being looking at them all the time. Yeah, so it's funny, I am in the... It's a little bit weird, suddenly. I am actually in Afsalar, which is in the suburbs of, uh, of Istanbul. But as you can see, it's quite a busy place. With a lot of big buildings, big malls, big malls. And there is a mall just here, so just around the corner there is a lot of food. I've seen there is a Yemeni restaurant, maybe I'm gonna try Yemeni food. It's a little weird to finally reach Istanbul <laughs> in a taxi, with a taxi. The taxi driver was so fantastic. Oh my god. He did not speak English, but we spent basically all the journey, which took like two hours and a half, talking with each other and saying thanks to, thanks to Google Translate. And uh, yeah, he was so nice. He gave me one kilogram of honey because he works as a taxi driver, but he also uh, produces honey. He was such a great man. He helped me, he called guys to find the shop. People are so nice with me since I entered Turkey. I hope they are, they, they're gonna also be able to repair the bike. It's so weird to be dropped in the middle of a, a giant megalopolis. There is where I want to go. Look at that. Okay, let's go up there, see how... how the Yemeni restaurant looks like. Oh. Can you eat? Hello? Huh? Camera? What do you want here? Huh? Hello? <laughs> No, camera okay? Camera. Okay. You call like it's a word. Can you speak English? Yeah, I can speak English. Eat. I want to eat. Yes. Okay. 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 Okay, I'm going to choose something and see you after. Yeah. Uh, what do you recommend? Uh, we have anything. You have anything? Okay. Yes. But what is good? Everything, Everything good. is good. Everything, good. Everything is good. Yes. Okay. <laughs> you are from Yemen. Then? Yes. Okay. Yemen. Nice. And you? France. France. Yeah. Welcome. Thank nice you. to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Okay, I'll get some. I'll get some of these. What? Huh? What? Yeah, one. Okay. And uh, Fatouche? One. Okay. One. And uh, do you eat, you eat this with bread or with rice or? Oh, this a lot? Meat, okay. Meat. 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 But only this, okay? Or I, I need bread? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. This with, uh, with this or uh, yes, no? Yes. yes, with bread, yeah. Okay. Can I have. Uh, uh, maybe one of these? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Wow. Oh. <laughs> it with the uh, bread. With, eat with the bread, right? Yeah. Okay. Look at this thing. I think it's beef. With a huge Arabic bread, some chili, and this beef stew. It looks awesome. And I took this weird salad. I have no idea what it is. Mm. I still don't know what it is. It's good. Crispy. Oh, there are some things under it. There are some vegetables underneath. Have a bit more of this for you. Mm. Mm. That's awesome. See you later when I go back to the bike. That's it. Done with the Yemeni meal. 
which was actually my first, uh, the first Yemeni meal in my life. And here I go out of the house of bike as a backpacker somehow. Look at that. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I expected it. Well, no, I hoped they could fix it if it was just a problem of connection between the battery and the engine. But they checked all the connections and it's not that. So basically it's a problem with the engine itself. So they might have to send it to, to Shimano to see if uh, they can fix it. So it's gonna take, they told me two weeks. I think it might take more. I'll come back tomorrow to see, uh, to have a better idea of how long it takes. And here I am in my room. Finally in my room in Istanbul. And actually I am in my room, but actually it's tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know if it makes sense. Anyway, one day passed and now it's time for me to finish this story, to know what's going to happen with my uh, near future. So it's time to go back to the bike shop and uh, to figure out uh, how long it will take for my back to get repaired. Just out of the shop and uh, well, I'm happy. Well, apparently it's the torque sensor is broken. So it's what measures the, the strength, the strength, the force you apply on the pedal with, the, with your foot. So this sensor is very important for an electric engine because uh, the assistance adapts according to how strongly you push on the, on the pedal. And this is broken and apparently on this Shimano engine you can't change the sensor. So basically what they're going to do is that they are going to they're gonna change the engine. So I'm gonna get a new engine. The engine is gonna be sent from Izmir apparently. And it's, it should take only a week. So today is a Wednesday or Thursday? Something like that. And I should get uh, back my bike Wednesday or Thursday next week. Hopefully it's gonna be like that. That sounds absolutely awesome. One week of rest in Istanbul. And I get the bike again. Ah. Okay, guys. So see you next week when my bike is ready again. And next week we will go to Asia. Yeah. Ciao, guys.